but we'll get into that more in a second. Uh, ver- sad news. Uh, there was uh, the recent passing, I think it was yesterday, Richard Bennett, uh, f- man who I'd certainly um, call a friend and um, somebody I had you know, been emailing back and forth uh, over time and um, because of his health declining and it was it was kind of harder and harder to do programs and i've done a number uh, we did a number of programs together i think maybe before uh with richard bennett and um richard had a wonderful energy and enthusiasm and and it was infectious and it was wonderful to be around and um but he's he's in glory. He's with the Lord now, and um, it's kind of even hard to it's kind of hard to say it actually. Um, I don't think he was really sunk in. I mean, we I've only ever met him once in person. He was preaching in Dublin, and also he was preaching up in Northern Ireland. But I was living in Dublin at the time, and I interviewed him. I think this was back in two thousand and fourteen, and it was about a twenty five minute interview. It's on YouTube if you're interested in watching that. And it was about evangelism. It was a kind of a pro- project that never ended up happening. And I just stuck the interview on the internet. Um, just go, 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 go constantly, even though at the time, even he was in his 70s and he had far more energy than I had. And um, yeah, it was wonderful. It was a blessing to get to know him. It was a blessing to be around him and fellowship with him and you know what? He was one of those guys. He was very, very gracious, but at the same time, he he did not fear. He didn't have a fear of man. He if he felt like something needed to be said, he would say it. But he did so in a very gracious way, and he, I I feel he taught me that even in the brief interaction that I had with him. And I remember asking him one or two questions: How many people are actually saved in the church? Kind of thing. And I think I remember him giving the answers like, we, we can't know. And he was right. He was dead right. So he will be missed. Um, but you know what? His book, his books are still available. And I think his testimony, the book and his testimony is was pr- uh, published by Banner of Truth. Loads and loads of videos by Richard Bennett, who uh, was a former Roman Catholic priest, in case anybody do- is not aware of that. And he was a Roman Catholic priest for some 20-something-odd years. And fascinating, amazing testimony. But just Google or YouTube Richard Bennett, and he's done lots and lots of videos, and um, very little w- w- which I would disagree. And, um, and, I, and I, I believe you would find it a blessing on to your soul. So I just wanted to say something about that before we get into the program, because sometimes it's easy to forget um i was you know i was even wondering whether to do uh, i think i think the best way to remember richard especially people who've been around him is probably the things those things he taught that were very very important there's some doctrines that are neglected by the modern church and he he really championed them and um stuff that's been kind of cast aside just off the top of my head, that the Pope being the Antichrist, something that um, not many people hold anymore, even people who would claim to be confessional. It, it's really, really tragic. And uh, and I think that's led to a kind of a very watered-down relationship with Rome rather than, but not to get into that here, but I would, and if you, if you haven't heard his testimony go online and uh, he's interviewed other people uh, etc and so on and 